Welcome back Wall Street bettors and also traders out there. Today was a really good day to get some of these nice Bank of America stocks. And Bank of America, if you look at the five-year graph, it's somewhat pretty stable. It's one of Buffett's biggest stocks in his portfolio and he still hasn't sold it yet. The dividends are pretty cool and they do give out very high percentage yield dividends compared to other stocks like Apple, which in my opinion are pretty stingy. And they got Amazon and Tesla, which don't give you anything. So Bank of America, you know, this month is doing absolutely terrible. It was at the peak of $35 and now it's at $27. So what better time to buy? So my strategy for Bank of America, you see here, I have 40 shares and I need to buy 60 shares more. And and why would I buy 100 shares of Bank of America? Well, it's pretty simple, to sell some cover calls. Let's go to Trade Bank of America Options. You can see here, this is the options page. And let's just put something like March 13th, something a little bit more realistic. You can see here, I could buy calls, which is, you know, I do this every day. And, you know, if you're a Wall Street better, you buy calls, you buy puts, and you pray that the stock market and also your stock specifically goes in the direction that you want to. We're not doing that. If I have 100 shares of Bank of America, I could sell calls to you Wall Street bettors out there and someone on Wall Street bets could buy my call and I'm selling it to them. And guess what? I get the premium since they pay me and they get to keep the call option. So one really cool thing is, for example, if I have 100 shares, I could actually sell this premium right here at a $28 strike price for 37 bucks to someone else. And I get that 37 bucks immediately. And guess what I'm gonna do? I could buy some beer and also buy another share of Bank of America. And after March 13th, if the stock doesn't hit $28, I get to keep my 100 shares and I get to keep the premiums. But if Bank of America, let's say, goes up to $28.50, then I have to sell all my Bank of America stocks at a $28 to the other guy. I'm fine with it. I still get to keep the premium. And honestly, if the stock actually jumps from 27 bucks to 28 bucks, I still make a lot of money. So hey, it's a win-win for both scenarios. And even if my Bank of America stocks get sold, I could always sell cover puts. Now, I could actually sell cover puts, like let's say at $26.50, meaning that I will have to put a collateral of $2,600 out because I want to buy this uh, stock at the strike price if it dips below that. And I'll guess what? I get $58 of premium. This is a wheel strategy. And definitely search it up. I will be making a full video talking about the wheel strategy using Bank of America as an example. So right now I'm trying to gear up and get as many Bank of America stocks as I could get. So I've been calculating since there's about four expiration dates every single month. And you could sell, you know, these calls and you could sell puts for around 30 to 40 dollars i'm guessing i could make a profit at around 150 dollars every single month with bank of america and that might not seem like a lot but it's nice stable money and you also get dividends here and there and it's kind of like your landlord you have a 2800 dollars house you don't have any tenants and you're collecting nice money and the value of the stock will eventually go up to the original price before the coronavirus at $35 you make a lot of money it's pretty sweet so this is why i really love these theta gain strategies since you actually do make a lot of money and by the way these are shares so you keep them forever and you get dividends these are not options which have an expiration date and options are pretty scary so yeah, that's my main goal right now to get 100 shares of Bank of America, just messing around, you know, learn the basics and stuff and have a really nice real life strategy. And if you guys don't have a lot of money, for example, for Bank of America, you could always pick different stocks like, for example, Plug Power. 100 shares of Plug Power is only 470 bucks. That's pretty sweet. And if you really don't have any money and you really want to just try out this data gain strategy, check out ACB. This stock is literally $1.37. So if you have $137, you can buy 100 shares and start trading ACB options. You can see they're not really worth that much, but it's kind of nice to use ACB as an example to sell calls and put stuff like that. You could even sell this for like, you know, five bucks, 37 bucks. It's pretty chill, it's pretty sweet. You don't really make a lot, but then again, it is like a training thing. If you wanna you know, just have a little taste of what selling cover calls and puts is like, then just you know, buy 100 shares of something super cheap and do it from there as a little test project. It doesn't hurt, the, there's almost no losses. It's usually gains, but you don't gain as much as buying a naked call or naked put. Then again, naked calls and naked puts are super 
you know, dangerous and they're super pricey occasionally sometimes. So that's about it. I'm trying to get as much as Bank of America shares as I get. Once I hit 100, I'll definitely be buying some pretty awesome stuff with my attendees. Anyway, thanks for watching and comment below.